Welcome! Today a very quick video I want to share with you how to bend text properly. And first of all we obviously need text. Just type in whatever you want and um, give the text a little bit of extrusion. Okay, didn't work. Here we go. And I always prefer when the text is centered, but you don't have to do this. And now maybe you already tried out a few things and maybe um, you worked with a, with a curve and just try to use a modifier, a curve modifier to bend the text around the curve. And as you can see, you have all those weird stretches, which we obviously don't want. So what we have to do is we have to convert the text into a mesh first. So right click and convert to mesh. Okay. So now if you go to edit mode, you can see that the topology is really bad. And this is actually the reason why it looks so weird when it's stretched. So we have to readjust the topology. You can obviously do this manually, which takes some time, um, but if there's an easier way to do it. And you just have to add a modifier and go to the remesh modifier. Here we go. Okay, this doesn't look right. So we have to go to sharp and we don't want to remove the disconnected pieces because then the modifier will delete all the letters except for one. And now we have to increase the depth a little bit. Usually a value between 8 and 10 is fine. But if you don't have to go higher than 8, you shouldn't because the resolution gets really, really high. And um, this might already work. We can, uh, we can adjust it later. And now what we can try to do is just use a curve modifier now. But before I do this, I want to show you if you apply the remesh modifier, don't do it now. Just want to show you what's happening. So the remesh modifier creates all those beautiful um, um, quads, which is perfect for bending and in general, a really nice topology. That's exactly what we need. Okay. Now you can go to your modifier settings again, click on the curve modifier and um, click on the curve as your object again. And now you can make a quick comparison to before and you can see especially the front looks much, much cleaner. You only see like some edges if you zoom in quite a lot. You can still increase the resolution by clicking on the curve. Here go to the curve settings and increase your resolution to 64 for example. This really helps and now the front is pretty much perfect. So you can just see like the worst parts if you zoom in very closely. Unfortunately you still have some hard edges, uh, edges inside of the letters and unfortunately there's no way to fix this perfectly. You can still increase, try to increase um, the, the depth a little bit. Sometimes this helps, but in this case it doesn't. And um, then if you need it 100% perfect, there's no workaround. You just have to polish your um, topology. Yeah, but I think for most of the cases this works perfectly fine and that's how a lot of other people do it too. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like and a subscription and thank you so much. Goodbye.